Well, hey there, and thanks for stopping by. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Now, about a couple of weeks ago, I was at a friend's place, and we got talking about how things were going on my YouTube channel, and I said, yeah, things are going along all right. And then they said, could we have a look at it? So I said, yeah, sure. They hadn't, they hadn't even been on my channel. So in the end, what happened was, we all sat around, it was about half a dozen of us. We got out some sketch pads that we had lying around, or they had lying around, some pencils there, and we started drawing along. <laughs> it was quite strange for me to be sitting there and, and watching my own video and drawing along with it. Well, I didn't do too much drawing, but I gave them a lot, you know. <laughs> I gave them a bit of a hand out when they needed it. But it was a lot of fun. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe how much fun it was, actually. And, like, it was a 25-minute video, I think, from memory. But it lasted us about an hour or so. It might have been longer. Yeah, nah, we, we all had a ball. And I'd like to share that with you. That's why I've designed these tutorials, so we can all sit around and have a bit of fun. My name's Robbie Greer from Rusticated Art, and this is Fun Times Family Art. And I've designed these tutorials to make it as easy as possible for you to learn how to draw. Now in today's tutorial, we're going to be drawing a barbed wire fence, just using the most basic of shapes. Now be sure to stay to the end because I'm going to be sharing with you all the secrets, all the things that I've learned as we go along. I can see you all sitting there, chomping at the bit, wanting to get started. Well come on then. Okay, now, the gear we're going to need today is we're going to need a ruler, we're going to need some blue tack. I've got a fresh one today. <laughs> the other one's getting a bit dark. We're going to need an eraser. Now with this eraser, all I've done is I've just sharpened it up a bit so we can get into the little, little corners and things. I've got a, an HB pencil. You can't really see that, it's a bit worn, but it's an HB, which is, like I've explained before, that's sort of the middle of the range. If you haven't got a blending stump, you're going to need a cotton bud. But you can get the blending stumps at you know, art shops and supply shops and things like that. They're not hard to come by. And there's a blending stump. I like mine with plenty of graphite on them because you, know, you can actually put that in there as well. We have a brush here, just a, just a little soft paint brush for brushing away all the crumb when we erase things. And basically that's about all we need. Oh, we do need either uh, an A4 a sketch pad or if you haven't got a sketch pad yet, just get a piece of printer paper. That's all you need. Got a couple of paper. Three or four, something that around. But anyway, somewhere around about an A4 size. Okay, well let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw a line across here. This is our ground line. Just a light line. Four centimetres from the bottom of the page. Now, we're going to be doing another fence, but this fence is going to be a barbed wire fence. Now I like to use my set square because that's you know it's got the angles and what have you but you can just use an ordinary ruler won't make any difference. We'll come in seven centimeters and 15 mil from there. Right we'll go up here the same seven centimeters and 15 mil. Draw a line up there and we want that to be six centimeters. Same on the side, just do very, very lightly, just gentle pressure. A lot of these lines are going to be rubbed out, and we also we go over them as well because we don't want to see the straight lines from, the, you know, from, from using the ruler. Now we come in six centimeters and 15, and the same here, six centimeters and 15, and we go six centimeters high. Now next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the outline first. So because we're doing a barbed wire fence this time, what we do is we're going to come down here, five mil, and then we draw a line across there, and we're going to go about halfway. But just just roughly, you know, just work it out. And same up there, just come above that there, a line across there, line down there, and we don't need to rule that one. And there. The next thing we want to take this out because it's cut out from there and this is, this is going to be the brace that holds it all together so it doesn't fall over. 
Go in here with our pencil. And right around here like that. Try and do it in one continuous line. Same here. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit shaky or runs off a bit because we don't want it to be perfectly straight. Remember these are just trees that have been cut down and are going to be used for the purpose of making a fence. So they haven't been put through the mill in the sense of, you know, made to look really, really nice. They're just basic. The next thing we're going to do, this rail across the top here, which fits in that little slot there, we're going to attach it to the post. So what we do, we drill a hole there and we drill a hole there. Now we're using hardwood timber. This is what they use here in Australia. So you can't bang nails in. And then we put a little bit of wire there that's holding it together. And then we're going to drill another hole there, another hole there, another hole there, and another hole there. And then, using your ruler, we're going to draw a line from there to there. Just very lightly. Just like that. And same over there. And you can see what's happening here. When this all tighten up, that's going to hold it all. So that when the wires we run along here are all, all tightened up, it won't fall over. Now, we'll go over this. And, when, and, and we don't want it to be straight like how we've ruled it. Let's go along here. This is about probably the only time that we don't sort of just have a long continuous line because we want it to look like it's been there for a long time. See, just like that. All right. Now, the next thing we do, see how uh, the wires come down here like this, through those holes, and they go through the other side, and, and then they come around, and then we wind them around like this, and then we go squiggle, 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 flick. So that's tied off. We do the same here, just, just above the wire there, we just come around there. Imagine it's going through that hole and coming around the back, and then we want to tie it off here like this. And we go squiggle, 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 flick. And do the same here, just above it, just above that line, like that. Squiggle, 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 flick. And here as well, squiggle, 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 flick. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to start to do a bit of shading in. So we hold our pencil on its side, just like this. Just go up and down, and we're just using gentle pressure, not too hard. And we don't have to go up and down that way, we can come across like this as well. And we'll do this one as well. Just take your time. So we've gone over the side there, that doesn't matter. It's graphite, we can rub it out. Take your time and pause whenever you need to pause. It's not a race. And I like to turn the page around, so I'm going up and down. I find the easiest way for me to do it. We want to try and just get long strokes, come right out to the edge. Now, just here, the bottom side, because there's no light getting in there really, would be a little bit darker. Well, there is light, but I mean, the light's always coming from the sides or from the top. And of course, the light being the sun. And we're going to try and just uh, merge the, the, the line to get you know into the, into the drawing. So we're blending it, so we don't actually see a hard line. You don't see hard lines in nature. I mean, we have to draw a line to put it on, on the paper, obviously. It's the only way we can do it. We just tidy up as we go. But all we're trying to do is just kind of merge to the edge. So, so nothing sort of stands out too much. It all looks like it's all, you know, all part of the, the image, I guess. Now, we'll come along here just see here in the where we've, where we've shaded because the paper is not perfectly smooth with little valleys and ridges and that we can't see that but they, there is and what happens when we go over it because the graphite some of it's on top some of it's is into the paper and it leaves little imperfections and that's what we use to create the texture of our wood grain might just bring that in a little bit, see if I can bring it in a bit. Just make it a bit easier for you to see. Okay, so we're going to do the same process here. One other thing you're going to need is a piece of kitchen towel. And we use that just to put down so that our hand is not resting on the drawing. It gets all smudged and then you get it all over your hand. So see, once again, we're just trying to push the graphite, or we're putting the graphite on the paper, and we're trying to merge it to the edge so that it all blends in as one. Now if you look here, like, because I came across this time, you can see all these different little, 
we've already established that yours will be different from mine as everyone's you know because we're not drawing on the same piece of paper we're not using the same pencil so different impressions will be left never try and compare your work to anyone else's otherwise you start getting the superstar if someone's better than you are you know they might have been drawing for a long time and, you, and then you feel like you're not good enough well it's not like that at all yours is yours uniquely and as you get better at it by practicing things will sort of make a lot more sense okay now we'll do the same over here and the other thing by, by drawing out here to the line just gradually don't do it too dark just gradually just gentle pressure and all we're trying to do this line we're just trying as I keep saying we're just trying to blend it into the rest of the drawing so it's not standing out so obviously in here it's be a bit darker because you know that's not exactly cut perfectly for that post to, or that rail to fit in there it's just been cut out and that's slotted in so you know quite often if you have a look at a fence you'll see that it's not a perfect joint we sort of got to understand that these were just cut on the farm by the farmer putting up his fence. Right now is the time to use our blending stump. If you haven't got one, a cotton bud. And I'll start from the right, just softly, look, gently. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure. I don't want it too hard because if you push too hard, it'll just make it all smudgy. And we don't want that. We want it to look soft. So just go over here like that. And of course, when we go over these like this, the areas like, for example, the holes in that, they'll get a little bit blurred, soft, but we can go back over that. And then I'm just going to go in here again, so be a little bit darker under there, do the wire, draw that back in again. And we'll see some more little imperfections in, in the grain of the wood. Now the other thing we do is we go in here and we just we want that to be a, just a shade darker than the rest, just a little bit. Because what we're trying to do is give the impression or the illusion that this is a three-dimensional drawing and the posts around and by making it darker on the edges uh, that gives the effect of the illusion that it's going away from us because it's darker so straight away your eyes pick that up and it, and it tells the brain that it's a round post and then you know that's what it is a round post and we'll do the same here and like i said it doesn't matter if you go over the, over the lines too much um, a little bit okay now next thing we're going to do We'll come over, come over seven centimeters and fifteen. Same again, seven, fifteen, one and a half centimeters. And we'll get up here, we'll get our lines in, and that's six centimeters high. You know, the time will come; it won't be long. Get back, so you won't be. You won't have to worry about using the ruler. You'll be able to just do it freehand. I just use the ruler because it just makes it easy. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos, it just makes it easy to keep everything in perspective in place so it takes away all the guesswork and a lot of my artwork I use the grid method and, and the same thing you've got to draw lines and everything and, and mark it all out so it's just an easier way to, to place your drawing or your image it just makes it easier keep everything in place now what we're going to do with this one we're just going to come down a little bit like that and we'll draw a little line just a very light line it's going to be sort of in the middle that's a little bit off but it doesn't matter and then we're going to go this, so we're going to do a little triangle, like that. So this post is what they call a quarter round. So it's been split into fours. Okay, now, we're going to be looking at doing one, two, three. We'll do four wires. So we start about there, and we want to get this, come up five, five. Now, we get our ruler, and we, we draw a line through here. Now we're going to stop right there. Because remember, these, this is solid hard wood, so we have to drill a hole through there. And then we go up here, to that dot, stop there, that dot, and then about halfway through the other side, come out again. Alright, now we'll come down, and we'll go over here. Come down 10 mil, 10 mil from that one, and we do a little dot there, a little dot there, and we'll draw another line across there. So we go across there and we stop there, start there, stop there, a little bit there. And we'll come down another 10 mil, one centimetre, go across there again. So we do the same, we go right across there, stop there, start there, stop there, dot there. Also we're going to have, <laughs> we're going to 
and then five. Five wires. That's great. So here we go across there. Stop there. Start there. Stop there. And put another little dot there. And we'll put one more in. 10 mil, one centimetre. Line that up. Go across there. Stop there. Start there. Stop there. And a little dot there. Alright, now we've got our little barbed wire fence. So, now what we're going to do next, and once again, because it's an old barbed wire fence, we're just going to go freehand and just follow this line. Just slowly take your time. So this is going to be barbed wire. You just make it so it's not too straight. I mean, it's straight, but it's not like a direct straight. Does that make sense? Like, Watch what I'm doing. See how that line is very, very straight because it's been ruled. But when we go on here with our pencil and try and do it free here, see how it's not as straight? Which is exactly what we want. And look at that, see that? That's, that's good. We'll just go to there. We'll do the same here. But what I do is I just sort of bring it out a little bit from that post. And we come down here. So it looks like it, you can see that it's coming out and going behind this post. Let's take our time, look, we just go real slow. Like I said, it's not a race. And we put a little, little dark bit there so that you can see there's a hole being drawn there. Same over here. Look, watch what you're doing, mate. Dang. Who's looking at the camera? Making sure I've got everything in focus. There you go. We stop right there. Same here. A little bit of a mark like that. Come down here. Stop there. And we start again here. Here we go, look here stop there. One more. By the time you've done this you'll know how to draw a straight line for your end. <laughs> Let's take your time. It's not a race. It's not a competition. All we're trying to do is just enjoy what we're doing. How's that looking? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now, next thing we do, we're going to put in some barbs. So we come over. Let's come in, just to give you the so you an idea. We'll come in two centimetres. And how we do the barbs is we just a little wee flick like that and then squiggle squiggle flick like that and then another one there they're about two centimeters apart but i'm just going my own way here flick and then over here up flick up squiggle squiggle flick down flick up squiggle squiggle flick down flick up squiggle squiggle down now on the next row we don't want them to be you know one on top of another so what we do we'll put one here in between so we flick up, squiggle, squiggle down. And then over here, flick up, squiggle, squiggle down. Up, squiggle, squiggle down. It doesn't matter if you make them a little bit too big, that doesn't matter. You know, it's just a practice drawing. Flick up, squiggle, squiggle down. 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 Coming along all right. Flick up, squiggle, squiggle down. Flick up. Squiggle, squiggle down, and one more wire to do. Yeah. Yeah. Squiggle, squiggle down, look up, squiggle, squiggle down. And now we've got our barbed wire. How easy is that? Now, we're going to tie this off again, it's just like how we did this here. So that goes around there, around the back of the post, it comes out here like that. And we just say squiggle, squiggle down. Same here, squiggle, squiggle down, and there. Well, let's tie them with the barbs, that's right. Here, squiggle, squiggle, down. And there, and that's tied in with that barb as well. Now, we're going to do this one over here, so we get our pencil once again on its side, and we just come down here, just like that. Bring it out to that line, so they, so they look the same. Come down here. Now, I'm just going to come down here a bit, and just darken that line up a bit there. It won't be a perfect split so it's not exactly in the middle. You know. And that's here. It will just come around like that a bit. Top in there. And then it could be that like there might be a bit of split there. See, so we just do it like that. That just gives it a bit of character. And because it's it's not rounded, because it's been split, the round parts at the back. We don't have to make that darker on the edge, but we can come in here and just put some grain in there, down here, just turn it on its side a bit, like that. We've got to just make them a bit darker, 
This, this Australian hardwood is so hard. Like, like, <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, it's so hard that I believe it would rust before it rots. It's just it's unbelievably hard and dense, and it feels like you're working with steel. Seriously, it does. I'm trying to drill holes in it. Just rub this bit here out. Just tidy that up. Yeah, get a little brush and brush it away. Blend this in, just gently. All we're doing is manipulating the graphite. We're pushing it around where we want it to go. That's all we're doing. Now, this top wire, we're a little bit too far there because I'm gonna rub that out. Oops, that rubbed half the post out. Put that back in. Yeah, you wouldn't even know. Look at that, just like a new one. Okay. So what we're gonna do here, just to make it a little bit different, but interesting. I'm going to bring this wire out. See, this is, the, this is all the fence is. This is an old fence, and that's what's left of it. I mean, we could carry on, but I, I just want to do something a little bit different, that's all. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out here like this. The wire, and then it goes behind. And comes in front. Like that. So it just goes out, around, behind the post, out front of the post and down. And then, of course, we're going to have to put some barbs on that. So, I like to turn things around so that I'm going with the flow as, as opposed to trying to twist my hand around and do all sorts of things. So, awkward things. So, we go flick, squiggle, squiggle, like that. And same over here. Flick, squiggle, squiggle, down. Flick, squiggle, squiggle, down. And there's our barbed wire. It's sort of just tangled around the post. And, it, and of course there's two wires on a barbed wire fence. But that's all, that's all we need to do for now. And then this one here, the wire here, well we can just go like that. Some little barbs on here. Flick, squiggle, squiggle, flick. Flick, squiggle, squiggle, flick. And that one there. It's been cut off. Those ones, so there's no barbs on that one. This, the fence has been cut. Oh no, all the stock got out. I'm just going to use my little pencil eraser here because I've sort of, I've sort of smudged it a bit. Just want to get in there, take that out. If you're interested in finding out where to to purchase the rest of the, the, the equipment that I use, like for example, pencil eraser, I, I get most of my stuff online. In fact, I just go on eBay. In the Tombow. Um, you can get Tombows. I have seen Tombows in the, in the local art shop. I haven't seen any pencil erasers as, as, as such. But just go online and just search for, um, on eBay anyway, uh, pencil erasers. And, and they'll come up. That's how I get all my stuff. Okay, now, and then finally, what we've got to do now is we just got to put a bit of ground in, holding the pencil flat on its side, just like that. Yeah, you don't have to go all the way across. It's just a part of a drawing, isn't it? A piece of it. So, and then we just just make it a little bit interesting. We go flick, 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 a bit of grass, a few dots, a couple of leaves hanging off there. Do the same on this side. Flick, 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 dot, 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 dot. dot. And then what we can do a bit more there. A few dots. And maybe like this, give the, the impression that there's grass growing there. And then we just go underneath like this, so it's a bit darker. Like that. Take out those little line, we can see the line, see how we see the line? We're just going to go over that, see? We can't see it. And then just to give it a bit, a bit more texture, I'm just going to do like that, so that's. Just random, look, just random. And that was a light dark, a bit of contrast. Go over there with the blender, just lightly, very lightly. And there we have our little rustic barbed wire fence. And that'll do it for now. I mean, you can do more to it. You might want to come in here and decide that you want to put a bit more texture in there, you know, get a bit more green. It's one of these drawings you can just play around with and you can have a lot of fun doing it. 
I do, I love doing them. Let's take that out there, I always sort of went a bit overboard there. I wasn't focusing properly. I'm trying to make sure the camera was in focus. There you go. Go back over there, because where, where we've gone over with the blender, it does tend to smooth things out a bit, soften things up. Then we just go over that, tidy that up, put the holes in there so we can see them. And over here. Yeah. There you go. Done and dusted. Okay. Yep, that'll do us for now. Well, I'm glad you made it through to the end. And I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. And you see, art doesn't have to be hard. In fact, it has to be about having fun. And by just breaking them down into basic shapes, you're going to achieve most things when it comes to drawing. The most important thing is to practice. Every chance you get, get those pencils out and start practicing. And it'll get easier. You know, when you first learned to write your name, you didn't just pick up your pen or your pencil and, and write it. No, oh, no. You took a long time to learn how to do it. And even though you don't remember, well, none of us do, but that's how you learn. Practicing it, persevering, having some patience. And that's the same. Now, if you like what you saw and felt you got some value, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments as well. I'm here to help you, that's what I'm here for. And I'd really appreciate it if you shared it, shared it with your friends, because if you liked it, guarantee they're going to like it as well, and they'll love you for it. And remember, a family that draws together, stays together. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.